Hi everybody, I'm Andrew for CGTuts and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this scene in 3D Studio Max. In the first tutorial we are going to create everything except the speakers and the screens. Now before I start I want to pay attention of the size of this scene. For example let's select this edge here and if we try to zoom in a little bit we can see we are going through this element and this is very hard for working so for these tutorials I'm going to use a bigger parameters like this here so let's reset this and create a cylinder now let's change the radius to 1000 and the height is 40 now let's reduce the high segments to 1 and increase the sides to 70 let's convert it to editable poly and apply bevel to the top polygon with zero height and something like 250 for outline Now let's apply extrude like so and apply bevel again. With negative outline. Like this. Now let's extrude it again and apply bevel Now let's apply again below to the bottom polygon with zero height and this is good for outline. Now let's delete it and let's select this loop here. So let's select this polygon and holding control let's click on edge mode so we have selected this loop and let's play chamfer now we have to apply chamfer to the rest of the loops like this Now let's play smooth like so and change this to shaded. Now let's move it to a center and let's create a tube. Now let's reduce a little bit 
the height like so and change the height to maybe 300 and now let's reduce the high segments to 1 and change the size to 100 let's move it a little bit and convert it to Eriso Poly now let's select this group of polygons and delete it and also apply chamfer to these loops now let's play smooth and again move it to a center now using shift and scale let's create 8 copies and if we want we can move them to create something interesting but now this is not important so let's continue with the first construction let's create another tube like this and let's reduce the second radius a little bit and also change the height now let's reduce the size to 60 and apply latest modifier now let's change the radius of the struts for like 50 and also increase the size to 20 now let's play smooth and also change this to high cursor let's again change the radius and increase the segments to 4 like this and play smooth let's move it a little bit and maybe reduce the radius to 40 now let's move it to a center and let's create another tube for the second construction let's move it to this point and let's change the sides to 40 and again let's just also change the height a little bit and again let's play latest modifier nineteen for the radius is good and let's do the same here now for the spotlight let's create a cylinder
with 18 sides and convert it to a solo poly now let's move this polygon like this and extrude these three polygons now let's connect three wolves with pinch like this and apply bevo to these polygons let's change this to by polygon and this is good now let's create another cylinder and align it to the power point let's reduce the sides to 8 and convert it to editor poly let's undo this and create another cylinder with 32 sides and align it let's change the height to something bigger like this and now let's go to compound objects and select pro boolean now let's hit start picking and select this cylinder here now we can convert it to hazel poly and connect one loop like this now let's select these polygons and extrude them now let's move them and scale them a little bit let's select these vertices and scale them again now let's go back to standard primitives and create a sphere and again align it now let's select these two elements and move them a little bit now let's select actually let's create a tube and let's reduce the size to 17 now let's convert it to eto poly and align it now let's scale it a little bit and move it to this point here now let's delete these polygons
actually only this here and let's using shift and drag let's move these two borders like this and let's make them panel and apply cap now let's select these polygons and extrude them and now let's scale them a little bit and make them panel now let's select this elements and make a group let's turn on the angle snaps to go and rotate it like this let's scale it a little bit and create three copies like this and move them like this Now let's rotate them a little bit Now let's select them and create a new group Now from hierarchy let's change the power point to a center here and let's rotate them with forty five degrees and create seven copies now select these groups here and change the power point to the center and scale them a little bit let's change this to vocal and move them do the same with the others now when we are ready let's select this group here and using shift and the rotate tool let's rotate it with 180 degrees and move it to this point here let's also scale it like this and rotate it with 45 degrees and move it to this point here now 
now let's again change the power point to the center and let's rotate it with 60 degrees and create 5 copies like this now let's create a cylinder and move it like this let's also change the size to 6 and reduce the, the radius a little bit let's convert it to editor poly and let's delete these polygons here and apply inset like this and then let's move this polygon a little bit now let's create a sphere and move it to a center do the same with this cylinder Now let's convert this to SO poly and let's delete these polygons we can scale it a little bit now let's select this element and also the sphere and go to isolation mode let's rotate this like this and create a plane now let's reduce the segments and move it like this Now let's convert it to editor poly. And let's match the vertices like this. Now let's change the power point and rotate it now we can move them a little bit and 
by shell modifier Now let's convert it to editor poly and let's move these vertices a little bit. But before that let's change this to local and select the polygon. Now let's delete these two elements and rotate it again. Now let's exit from isolation mode and select these elements and go to isolation mode. Now let's create another plane. Now let's change the length to maybe 900 and the width width. Something like 600 and let's rotate it now let's apply shell modifier and move it to this point here Let's turn off the angle of snap toggle and rotate it a little bit. And move it to this point. Now let's scale it. like this and let's move it to this point and rotate it again Now let's change this to the center again. And rotate it. But before that let's turn on again the angle snap to go. So that doesn't work, so let's right click here and change the angle to 1 degrees and try again. Like this. And let's rotate this again. And make
make seven copies now let's select this elements and change again the part point to a center so we can scale them a little bit and move them like this now let's do the same with the others now let's exit from isolation mode and see what we have now that was everything for this tutorial in the next one we will create the speakers and the screens so i hope you like it and i will see you next time